Hey guys, Crafty here, and I just got back from the basic survival course at the Pathfinder School run by Dave Canterbury. Real quick again, if you guys don't know who Dave Canterbury is, he is a master survivalist, he's an author, he's been on the Discovery Channel's Dual Survival, he owns the Pathfinder Survival School down in Ohio. He's a really, really awesome dude, he knows a lot of stuff, and he is pretty much a world-renowned survivalist. And I had the opportunity to go to his basic survival course this past weekend, and it was quite the experience. Um, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to share how my experience went and some tips for you, on how you can succeed there. So right now I'm currently recovering from the experience. I mean, I'm pretty much fully recovered. It wasn't too bad on me physically main thing I experienced was some sleep deprivation for sure. Maybe a little bit of dehydration at one point, but nothing too severe. And I was pretty much at a caloric deficit every single day I was there. I wasn't eating too much. There wasn't a lot of downtime besides at nighttime. But then again, I didn't bring too much food to really sustain the amount of calories I was burning on a daily basis. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty much good to go now. Uh, the course itself was great. You, you learn a lot of stuff about wilderness survival, navigation. You know, this is really, really important stuff too, especially if maybe you're a hiker or a camper and you got lost. This would be a great course for you. This course goes into Dave Canterbury's 10 C's of survival. That type of nah, curriculum, that's not really. Basically, the system of survival that he teaches is based off the 10 C's of survival. We can see them right here, and they're basically tools and gear that once you learn them and master them and understand the multifunctionality of them and why they're so necessary for survival, you're not going to want to leave home without them. At least the initial five C's. Like I wouldn't want to have any kind of pack where I want to go camping or whatever without at least those five C's because those things are really, really important to have, especially when you know how to use them, and they're like the hardest tools to recreate in nature. Like they're pretty, pretty essential, and they are life-saving. Uh, this course, overall for me, I think it helped kind of affirm or confirm. I don't know. I'm not good with words, guys. I'm really tired. It helped kind of like confirm my skills that I've been learning over the past few years from watching these guys, reading, reading their books and stuff. And that was pretty, it was a good feeling knowing that like, okay, like some of the stuff I've been doing for the past few weeks or months or years or whatever I've been doing it right and it's been paying off and then I also learned a lot of new stuff there which was really really great one thing that separates this school from other schools other other wilderness survival schools in the country is as far as I know it's the only one that puts emphasis on almost simulating a survival situation as far as maybe you're sleep deprived or you you're starving or you're low on water you're put through all these stressors on purpose at this course to see if you can perform the skills they teach you under stress under stress inoculation with time limits and multitasking doing all these things at once and like I said you might be sleep deprived from not sleeping the night prior very well or you might not have much food in your belly and you're exhausted and you're carrying tons of weight walking through pretty treacherous terrain. I've never seen so many thorns and briars in my life. I got all cut up. I was bleeding through my pant legs, getting my legs cut up. I've seen other people with their clothes getting all torn up and stuff. Going through the land nap courses there, but you know, that's part of the game. It toughens you up. And I mean, survival, especially in a unfamiliar terrain, it's not going to be like, you know, some nice, comfortable thing. You got to be prepared for the worst and embrace the suck and get through it. Um, but yeah, the course itself was awesome. I'm not going to go into too, in too much detail as to everything we did at the course because for one, I think they change each course a little bit and two, I think it'd be good for you guys to experience it as fresh as possible. And we had, we even had people there that, uh, like other students with me that they had almost no experience. There was a lot of like really fresh people there that they just wanted to, I guess, increase their self-reliance skills. You know, make it so that they can get out of dangerous situations if they go camping or whatever. 
and made it great. Like I had actually a really good group of students, and I'll touch on that later, other students with me. Like we had a really good group and I was, I was lucky to be a part of a great group. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as tips go, I'll say this, do not go to this course if you're not in good shape or definitely don't go if you're in bad shape. I mean, if you're in decent shape, you'll do probably pretty decent physically from the physical aspect of all the hiking with all the gear and all the extra weight you'll be lugging around. Um, if you're in good shape, you'll do good with that. If you're in great shape, you'll do great. But if you're in bad shape, it might be too much for you, honestly. So I would say definitely prepare in advance and they actually recommend that like on their website and their videos. Like just because it's called basic, it does not mean it's easy because it's not. It's not an easy course by any means. It's not like the hardest course in the world, obviously, because they have courses even higher from their school that are more difficult. But it's called basic because it's like a basic foundational course that you have to go through. And then you build up on those skills in the intermediate class and the advanced class, etc. But it doesn't mean it's easy. Um, I guess kind of think of it like boot camp. Because boot camp in the military is often called basic training. And boot camp is not necessarily easy for the average person. When trainees go through that, it's not really an easy thing for most people. It's pretty psychologically and physically challenging, and this this kind of was. They don't yell at you like boot camp, but there is definitely that sense of urgency. I mean, Sean Kelly is a, a great instructor, and I could definitely feel some of the pressure sometimes because they're trying to get us rushing because sometimes we were slacking or just being a little bit too slow, and I kind of feel that you know that military like essence from him. I mean, he's a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine, right? But uh, no, he's an awesome instructor and you will feel that sense of urgency a lot. And also, especially with the time limits for all the deliverables you have to do. Del deliverables are essentially like the skills that you have to complete or the tasks you have to complete to show that you know how to do these things and you have to do them in a certain amount of time or else you don't pass, you don't get the points. The entire course is based on a point system pretty much. And overall, if you, when all said and done, you get kind of scored essentially. I don't remember what the score, the minimum score is you need to get the certification, like the certificate that shows that you passed and graduated basically. Um, but I do know that if you get at least an 80% or more, you get a patch. So this is a patch qualifying course. If you get the patch, you know, it shows that you're, you did a really good job essentially. And I was able to get the patch. And the cool thing about this was my entire class got the patch this time. And as far as I know, that's really, really uncommon. Like Dave, Dave himself said that this was like our class performed the best, you know, performance wise, our entire class got the patch, which is really, really uncommon. Usually most classes don't, everyone doesn't get the patch. And not only that, we had the lowest tap out rating of the entire year from what they were saying. Uh, we had three people tap out the first day. You know, they just didn't want to complete the course, which is unfortunate for them. Um, but yeah, usually there's more people. Like, there's a, usually, I think it was like 20-ish 20 20 percent or more people will tap out from the basic course without, you know, completing it. But like I said, our our group, we had a great group of students. Everyone, everyone passed, everyone passed. Everyone besides the ones that tapped. Um, yeah, I think that's also due to the instructors. We had really good instructors, you know, great instructors make great students and all the instructors were great. Shout out to my personal instructor, uh, Tony or Pooter Stomper. He was awesome. Really, really awesome. Laid back dude. Really, uh, down to earth, super knowledgeable. Great guy. He's awesome. Check him out. Um, let's see. All, all the instructors are great. Also Mike. He's a, he's a cool dude. He's becoming an instructor. He's on his way to become an instructor. I've talked to him a bit before the program, and he's a really, really solid dude. Check him out, especially if you're into martial arts, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and wilderness survival. He's going to have some good stuff coming out, so check him out. Um, another shout-out, my, my partner. So also, you get broken up into teams. So there was, like, what, 20 of us, I think. I think there was roughly three teams, and... In that team, you guys go through some of the stuff together, but then you get broken down into partners. And my partner was Clint. That dude's really, really solid. He was a great partner. I probably couldn't have had a better partner. He was awesome. Really awesome partner to work with. We both helped each other out a lot. 
played off each other's strengths, and we did pretty good together. So good job, Clint. It was nice working with you. You're awesome, man. And also, good luck on your path to become an instructor yourself. Can't wait to see you again and see what you do at the school if you work there. Um, what else we got? Yeah, the biggest thing, tip-wise, don't be in a horrible shape. Be strong mentally. And if you can, get good with knots. One thing I did before I went was I got familiar with every knot they were going to teach me. I knew how to do every knot they, they taught at the school before I even went there. And that helped a lot. Um, I mean, I use a lot of those knots for my camping and stuff I do myself. But getting good with those knots will really help you succeed that much more, especially when you're under pressure of being timed. If you already know how to do these knots, especially like with your eyes closed, you'll be fine. Get good with using a ferro rod as well. Um, it does take some skill to use a ferro rod. I also have a video about it, so you can check that out if you want to. But um, it is, it's really important to get good with a ferro rod for this course. If you have no skills, you'll probably be okay, but I would definitely recommend Use a ferro rod before you go there and experiment with different tinders. Use as many different tinders as you can with a ferro rod and get good with it. That'll help you a lot. Um, yeah, familiar, familiarize yourself with all the rest of the seas if you can. Watch their videos. Learn how to use a compass before you go. Get in good shape and you'll be fine, honestly. Like, like I said, we had a great group. There was almost no drama. I don't think there was any drama at all. Like everyone was cool and helpful and chill. Everyone was, pretty much everyone was looking out for each other from what I saw. And it was a great time. Great people, great instructors, um, money well spent. It was a great experience. I'm going to go back for a lot more, a lot more future courses for sure. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got guys. Um, any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I can go into more detail if you want on certain things. But just be prepared to be pushed physically and mentally and just don't give up. If you don't give up on yourself, they won't give up on you. But don't underestimate it. Do what you got to do and you'll be okay. But that's all I got for now, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.